gross pay and net pay example one. So below is an example of what you'll see on a pay slip. So I've just made this up and pay slips usually actually have a lot more information. It's quite hard to find the information that you need a lot of the time. Anyway, um, so we're going to look at this pay slip and we've just got three questions to look at. So um, what is the gross pay? Now you'll actually notice two columns. We've got what's called this pay and year to date. We'll just focus on this pay and, and I'll explain what the year to year to date part's all about a bit later. I'm having a bit of trouble with my pen again. There we go. So focusing on this pay only. Alright, so the gross pay is $921. We can see it lines up with gross pay here, $921. Now, next one says what is the pay G tax? So the pay G tax is $100. $56. And what that's telling you is if you make $921 for your pay, then the government will charge you $156 in tax. Okay, um, this is just an estimate of what it would be. Then question C says to calculate the net pay, and that just means fill in the blank here. And the net pay is calculated by taking the gross pay and taking away all the deductions. So we're going to go 921 minus 156 minus the tax we're going to minus the superannuation for 98 and we're going to minus the hex debt for 21. so let's work that out 921 minus 156 minus 98 minus 21 is 646 dollars so what that tells us is that even though this person has a gross pay of 921 dollars only $646 would go in the bank. Now, I'll talk a little bit about the year to date. Basically, a financial year will start on, it starts on July 1st, okay? And it finishes on June 30th. So financial year is actually it actually starts in the middle of the year and finishes in the middle of the next year. And so this year to date is referring to how many weeks or how many fortnights or how many months have passed since July 1st. And you'll notice if you go across here, the year to date total is actually three times as much for each of these. If you worked it out, if you times this by three, you'll find that that's where the year to date comes from. And what that's telling us is the year to date, it's been three payments since the start of the financial year. So because you've received three payments, um, the year to date is three times as much as one of those payments. 